I served with Kilo Company 3rd Battalion, 8th Marines, as an automatic machine gunner. Uh, this man was innocent. I don't know his name. I called him the fat man. Um, he was walking back to his house, and I shot him in front of his friend and his father. The first round didn't kill him after I had hit him up here in his neck area. And afterwards, he started screaming and looked right into my eyes. So I looked at my friend who, was, who I was on post with, and I said, well, I can't let that happen. So I took another shot and took him out. He was then carried away by the rest of his family. It took seven people to carry his body away. We were all congr congratulated after we had our first kills, and that happened to have been mine. My, C uh, my company commander personally congratulated me as he did everyone else in our company. This is the same individual who had stated that whoever gets their first kill by stabbing them to death will get a four-day pass when we return from Iraq. I do have some video footage and pictures that I'll be sharing with you. This man right here was my third confirmed kill. As you can see, he was riding his bicycle. This Later on in the day, we went ahead and uh, we had CBS Laura Logan with us, but she was with the other squad. And so she wasn't with us. So myself and two other people went ahead and took out some individuals because we were excited about the firefight we had just gotten into and we didn't have a cameraman or woman with us. Anytime we did have embedded reporters with us, our actions would change drastically. We never acted the same. We were always on key with everything, played, did everything by the books. This is um, after uh, one, of, one of the guys in uh, weapons company had gotten shot. Uh, this is a way that we would take out our aggression. For those of you who don't know, it is illegal to shoot into a mosque unless you were taking fire from it. There was no fire that was taken from that mosque. It was shot into because we were angry. A lot of the raids and patrols we did were at the night, around 3 o'clock in the morning, around there. Um, and what we would do is just kick in the doors and terrorize the families. On my wrist, there is Arabic for FU. I got that put on my wrist just two weeks before we went to Iraq because that was my choking hand. And any time I felt the need to take out aggression, I would go ahead and use it. Um, if, if the men of the household were giving us problems, we'd go ahead and take care of them any way we felt necessary whether it be choking them or slamming their head against the walls. Everyone sitting up here has these stories. And there's been over a million troops that have gone in and out of Iraq. So the, end, uh, the possibilities are endless. The reason I am doing this today is not only for myself and for the rest of society to hear, but it's for all those who can't be here to talk about the things that we went through, talk about the things that we did. With that being said, that is my testimony. I just want to say that I am sorry for the hate and destruction that I have inflicted on innocent people. And I'm sorry for the hate and destruction that others have inflicted on innocent people. At one point, it was okay. But reality has shown that it's not and that this is happening and that until people hear about what is going on with this war, it will continue to happen and people will continue to die.